Hello YouTube, thanks for coming back to Create, Share, and Give. And today my reading is on Portia Ravenel and Orlando Moore. And if you guys aren't familiar who the couple is, they are the first couple that raised eyebrows for me that went missing while they were vacationing in the Dominican Republic. They were found, I wanna say maybe a two to a month, two weeks to a month later, um, the car was found in the water, in the water, unrecognizable. It looked like a car that came from the chop shop, like it had been smashed. And Orlando's body was unrecognizable. I mean, it just raised so many red flags to me. And what I've learned about our judicial system and just the fairness, you know, believe half of what you see and a fourth of what you hear because uh you know people have their own best interests and they will basically sway a story to fit their narrative so with that being said the case just kind of stuck with me so today i'm doing a reading on that um a little background on the story portia and orlando had to drive 200 miles from the airport to their resort so this is another lesson learned from this case, you know, not to do that in foreign countries. The particular road that they had to drive on um, at night due to being, um, having to be at the airport at 2 a.m. the next morning. And this particular road, to be fair, is one of Caribbean's nation's uh, fifth most, most dangerous roads. They have the, uh, you know, a large death per capita and there is a warning to not drive there at nighttime especially at nighttime but not to drive that far period you know uh, by yourselves but anywho there are also been reports that uh, there are citizens there as well as law enforcement that put booby traps on the road for people driving and they stop them to demand money if you want to go by or demand money to help you get your, you know, your tire fixed or whatever the problem may have been. And that's what I'm getting from this case. I don't understand how uh, Portia was found 13 miles from where the car was found. She was unrecognizable, stayed in a hotel, I mean, not the hotel, the hospital for eight days after she was found as a missing person report. Now, I've also read different articles where some citizens there said that this was a high profile case um, in the DR as well as in America, um, you know, knowing that an American couple was missing in the DR. So I just don't have any idea why no one at the facility uh, contacted this report, missing person report. Um, the, the law enforcement is there to know that there was a couple missing. For her to have lived eight days without any contact with her family, don't, not knowing where she was, is absolutely uh, absurd to me, to say the least. So things like this, you never hear these... Uh, huge points when you hear the story on them is always oh they were drinking driving fast which <laughs> give me the receipts from the drinking the toxicology reports um all of that you know because i think it was some foul play going on and they lost their lives and to save face and to save their tourist economy they just chopped it up as you know drinking and driving and bad roads you know so a lot of people just fall for the Kool-Aid. So anywho, again, I pulled a few cards and I pulled my cards because it takes me, like I said before in another video, a while sometimes to pull my cards. I just have to feel the energy of the cards and it takes forever and forever to upload. But if you guys would like for me to pull the cards and have a longer video, leave a comment in the, in the uh, comment box. If not, just hold on and watch. So this is the first card I pulled. And this to me symbolizes the uh, 
just the heat and the fire and the love and the romance that was between Portia and Orlando, a hot young couple that just were fond of each other, loved spending time together and wanted to go on and have a sexy, fun vacation in the DR. So this is the couple, Portia and Orlando. This is the first card I pulled that represents them. So that was right on. Another card here is the water, which to me represents the ocean, which the car was found. But the, uh, the dark mouth of LeBlanc inside signifies secrets, uh, signifies, signifies illusions, the illusions of the stories that are made up behind what really happened to them. You know, everything is not as it appears to be. And maybe it's just not as clear cut as driving fast at night, drinking. I don't, I don't, I just don't buy that story, especially when um, Portia was supposedly so nervous and upset, I'm mean, nervous and anxious about driving. Um, I'm sure she's not going to have Orlando drive under the influence and speeding, and she was already nervous. I just don't buy that. So another card that I pull here, and this, hopefully I'm not coming off as persuading the cards, but these are the cards that I pulled that validate um, what my subconscious mind is telling me and what spirit is telling me. And this is a picture to me represents Portia, who held all of the secrets that knew what happened when she was in the hospital for eight days. Um, and no one knew who she was. They said she didn't have any ID on her, which again is hard to believe. A woman that's driving that's already apprehensive and a little nervous about going back to the airport is not going to have her passport, you know, in a trunk somewhere. It's going to be on a purse by her, a, uh, you know, a crossover bag or something like that. So this is the uh, card that I pulled for Portia. And this is all the secrets that, you know, we will never know, not even secrets, but truths that she knew because she was found alive again, 13 miles from where Orlando was. So the next card I pulled here was the justice card, which I believe they haven't gotten justice. It looks like there is some type of accident, a fender bender here. But what I also see is someone asking for money. There was an argument that ensued and there's someone here with their hand outreach for money. So maybe they were hijacked on their way of a, a, a pretend accident or a made believe accident or an intentional accident that was uh, conjured in order to get money from them in order to move on because they were in a rental car. So that kind of coincides with that. And I feel here too, here are the two hands I see that are reaching out for help. They're reaching out for help in a land of people who are ignoring them, who are really poor, that are living on tr trash and basically third world country, abandoned, building someone here that's really distraught. And this is their angels that are pulling them up from help, taking them out of that horrible experience. So is there anything else Spirit wants us to know? Anything else Spirit wants us to know about Orlando and Portia? The cards are basically speaking for themselves. Uh, my intuition has already told me exactly what the cards are saying, but take a look and see if you feel the same thing. What else the spirit want us to know? And if we will take a moment of silence for a minute for the life of Portia, Ravenel, and Orlando Moore.
okay what dropped out here for me these two dropped out I have the page of wands here is someone coming out with the flashlight two people in the back asking for their hands to be held hands held up by someone with the flashlight that came into their path a lizard is here a snake in the grass perhaps hold your hand up and someone that startled them there here I have the five of blades someone very angry upset that is demanding something demanding money or some type of uh, possessions out of them so that is what I feel that situation was um, being hijacked there was a lot of pressure on them to come up with the bodies and I think that's how the car washed up if you guys go back and look at any videos of the car I mean it just doesn't look like a car that would be pulled out of a ocean you know and then I'm not sure how would Porsche be out of the vehicle 13 miles away so there's a lot of things that just don't add up and now the cards are telling me exactly they're asking for help there's been money something being asked hands up I can't make this up someone crossing their path startling them startling startling them in their path someone who was very angry and upset okay so we're gonna go to the cosmos the cosmos and see what message we have from the cosmos what message do we have from Orlando and Portia Ravenel what does the universe want us to know what does the spirit want us to know again second house owning money so I see the money here which someone asking for money monetary uh, value through a accident that was set up angry argument the bottom line is someone wanted money or possessions that startled them on their path very upset and they were reaching up asking for help and the secrets of the water now I want to get one card I will take one from our ascended masters Leah let's do the ascended masters and see what the ascended masters have to say what does the ascended masters have to say anything that Portia has to say or Orlando what message do you want the world to know what message do you want the world to know
Okay, we have teacher, teacher. What I get from that is our our moments. This this situation can teach us a lot. Again, first thing, be careful when you're going to foreign countries on these roads, even if you're getting a deal on your travel or a deal on the resort, be aware of the environment that you're driving in and be safe. That is one of the most takeaways from for me, you know? Sometimes we may want to go far, farther away to get another deal, but put ourselves in danger. Things of that way, not believing everything you hear um, that the media tells you. Um, do your own research. And uh, this was the first case for me that uh, resonated. And then the other... Uh, suspicious deaths that came subsequently after Portia and Orlando's case. So there is something to be taught here, something that, um, you know, we need to teach that has taught us with everything, what they say, a silver lining, with in every most tragic trauma case, always look for the silver lining. Yes, things are a tragedy, but what can we learn? What can we learn from the situation? Maybe it's learning not to trust everything you hear on TV and repeat what you hear. Maybe it's to look further into corruption, corruption that goes on um, within our society, within, you know, the media, so take away what you will from your own uh, perception of this case and everything that I have presented here. I'm going to do one more for our angels. For the angels. The message. Because we have to do a message from the angels. Okay. What message do the angels have? for Portia, from Portia in Orlando. What message do the angels have from Portia in Orlando? Okay, so this is the card, Spiritual Understanding. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. So spiritual understanding, again, listening to our teacher, our self-intuition, for me, my spirit guides, for spiritual understanding of certain situations, Understand things beyond sight, beyond what is being told to you. And helping you understand the spiritual truths or just the truths beyond what just have been given to you. And that is a lesson for all of us to learn. So again, thank you for coming back to Create, Share, and Give. Thank you. Hopefully you found something helpful within this reading. And I'll close out by just giving a bow to Portia Ravenel and Orlando Moore and rest in heaven. Thanks.